What's going on guys, it's TarifKid25 here. Um, I'm doing a, this is my week two part one update. I'll, I'll be doing another week two update once I get my full cleanup crew here later this week. Should be here around Wednesday. So I just wanted to do a quick update because my tank is fully cycled now. My nitrates, I did my my 50% water change. My nitrates are reading about, about eight, so they're a little high, but I'll, I'll get them down under five here pretty soon. Um... But as you can see, you know, what happened to my takes this last update? Last update, my aquarium was pearly white, and now it's covered in this red nastiness. Well, this is diatom algae. This is something that comes after your tank cycles. It's very, very common, and it's something that's going to happen. It might happen in different sizes, like some people get diatom blooms, and they're small. You just get some specks on the rocks. Other people get diatom blooms like this, and they're huge. Now, their diatoms are autotrophic, meaning they use meaning they use the light to create their own food. So, there's a lot of controversy on what actually causes uh diatom blooms. A lot of people say it's from silica in the aquarium, and then a lot of people just say it's just something that happens. What it is, I'm not really sure, and it's like I said, it's a very controversial subject, but it is for sure caused by light, and silica I think does aid in it. Silica is something that's found in rocks, sand, um, even plastics. When you put plastics in an aquarium, it's going to have a little bit of silica in it. And that's why you'll see a lot of people want to use uh, silica-based sand, which is like, you know, garden play sand or whatever, which I've, I've never used it. I don't think I ever would. Um, but more than anything, if you do use it, you're probably just going to get a prolonged large diatom bloom. And as long as you have a good cleanup crew, that's fine. So uh, as you can see, like up here, see all the white rock? That's from a, a snail. It has already cleaned out that diatom algae. Snails love diatom algae, and that's why I haven't touched this aquarium since the diatom bloom. I haven't scrubbed anything. I haven't touched the glass. I've, I got about 10 snails in there, which isn't my full cleanup crew. I just went and grabbed some because my diatom bloom was getting pretty big. Um, and as you can see, they're already putting in a lot of good work. And so I'm not going to touch this until I get my cleanup crew in the next couple of days. And I'll do the video on that because I want to show everyone how well cleanup crews can remove diatoms. And a lot of people freak out about diatoms because it's a pretty ugly algae. And they start scrubbing rock and they start siphoning the algae out of the sand. But at the same time they're getting this cleanup crew and they're putting cleanup crew in it and for me that's counterproductive because all you're doing is you're buying this cleanup crew and then you're taking its food source away by scrubbing the rocks and siphoning the sand you don't need to do that cleanup crew itself will take care of this issue very quickly and you won't have to deal with it you won't have to bother scrubbing rock and then not only that you're not gonna have your cleanup crew start to die off after a couple of months because while they're trying to eat you're sitting there scrubbing and taking their food source away. So that's why I wanted to do this video on the diatoms because if you're a newbie especially in this, don't be frightened by this. This is totally normal and it's just something that you're going to get. So so yeah, that's my quick uh, week two part one update on my diatom bloom. Let's see if I can get some uh, closer if I zoom in a little bit here as you can see how bad it is see as you can see it's covered just about everything and these snails are they're knocking it out as you can see that top rock like I said that thing's almost all the way white I mean it's so white that it's almost causing some blur in the camera compared to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the aquarium um, but yeah they'll they'll get the work done so so cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later.